Hey Aquarius, hey beautiful souls, welcome back. I'm divinely destined. Welcome back Aquarius to another video. If you are new here, first of all, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for stopping by, tuning into the readings. All these readings are gonna be general messages. Please take what you need, honey. Just take what you need and leave the rest. Don't ever try to make a reading fit. You will know, okay? Give the reading time to play out. Don't just watch a few minutes and click off unless it just don't resonate. It happens like that too, okay? But usually you want to give the reading time to play out. Let, let the reading develop and marinate and saute, okay? It gets better and better. Aquarius, if you guys want to book me for a private reading, I'm available. Sometimes you just want to know some things that nobody else don't need to know that you want to know, okay? That's your damn business, that's why we're here. If that's something you're interested in, Aquarius, email me. Thank you for the love and support, Aquarius. Remember, we are in Mercury retrograde. Drink your water. Get your rest. Stay hydrated. Don't overexert yourself or get too hot, okay? Mm. Aquarius, you know my mind. It just be going there, okay? I see you drinking some water after a very passionate night in bed with your lover. Mm. Make sure you drink a lot of water, baby. Aquarius. Aqua gang, baby, for sure. Okay. I love my aqua subscribers. Yes. There's a powerful male that is with me. Okay. This could be an ancestor, Aquarius. Okay. This could also be an archangel. Could be an ascended master. Okay. This person just came in as I start this Aquarius reading. This could be an ancestor. Okay. He's a masculine energy. This may be a father, a grandfather. Okay, Aquarius, he's coming in. We're going to tap in. Yeah, I'm going to say we because, you know, me and the spiritual team and you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start and tap into the reading. Okay, he's making me a little bit nervous. So if this person, you know, if they have any messages, Aquarius, this person may be a Virgo. Or they may have been a Virgo. Okay, yes, if they have any messages, I will certainly relay the message let you know. I'm going to let you know. It's definitely a male ancestor. This could be your father, your grandfather, your uncle, your brother here. Aquarius, you may be in isolation today or you may be emotionally withdrawn today. Okay, this could be a cop. Yeah, <laughs> he could be a cop. This person was a cop. Okay. Ooh, he was a cop. He was a first responder. He was a police officer. Now, this person may not be related to you. Aquarius, you may you may have nothing to do with this. This could be a spirit that's connecting with me, okay, at this particular time. But there's an Aquarius male here that could be emotionally closed off and isolated right now, okay? Mm, you may be choosing to be alone at this time, Aquarius man. You're dealing with a lot of sadness and grief, regret, depression, okay? You may just be in the energies of healing recharging your body your mind your thinking you're reflecting you're in, you're in that deep introspection or introspective mode aquarius male okay you may simply have a very low tolerance and a very low patience and level okay you may have a very low tolerance and patience level at this time you may be easily angered or easily pissed off okay yes mm. you just don't want to be bothered or this could be a past energy energy for you, Aquarius male. Okay, you just did not want to be bothered. You're coming up out of that energy here, okay? Or you may still be in it. Take it how it resonates. Aquarius female, you may be in that energy, okay? Man, a little closed off emotionally. You're just recharging your mind, your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit, Aquarius woman. You may love to you may love the colors white, okay? Yeah, you may like to take long drives, or you may like to drive to clear your head. You may be actually driving, listening to this beautiful message as we speak here, okay? Mm. You may be getting off by yourself because you're manifesting. You may not want people to mess that up. So you may, you may be in the energies of just getting quiet and getting off to yourself because you don't want your plans and your progress to be messed up by anything or anyone at this time. Yes, we got unfinished. There is something that's still lingering in your mind or there's something that still needs to be done. If you're depressed today, you got anxiety, you're struggling with mental illness, Aquarius, I'm here to let you know, baby. I'm here to let you know. 
it ain't over. There's still work that you got to complete here. Okay? If you're feeling total desperation and isolation and sadness, please seek immediate help. Call a friend. Call a supportive uh, relative. Call God. Call your ancestors. Okay? Depression is real. It's not It's not a joke. Okay? Anxiety is real. Okay? Mm. You feel isolated. You feel alone. Or Aquarius, you were in these energies at some point. Mm. I'm here to let you know. Hmm. There's still a long roll ahead of you. You got you got some more time. It ain't over, Aquarius, okay? What is this mail here? Please and thank you, Archangel Michael. You got some sad, disappointing news that left you feeling, you know, very, very hurt. Perhaps you're going through a divorce, a bad time in a marriage, okay, a breakup. Or you're in a situation at home where you're not feeling the best. So you're kind of isolating yourself. Take the reading how it resonates. Hmm. You may have heard some shit gossiping, people talking about your spouse, people talking to your spouse about you, spreading lies, spreading rumors, gossiping, Aquarius. Oh, that shit is just for the birds. You don't want to hear that, okay? Aquarius don't want to hear it, okay? What is this local travel, okay? I'm definitely hearing if you trust me, say it. If you want me, prove it. You got to show me, okay? Aquarius don't want to hear that shit. I feel like you may have a partner that listens to gossip or a lot of people always talking shit about your Aquarius to your partner and they coming back telling you and you're like, hey, I'm with you. Okay, I'm with you. When are you going to start trusting me here? <laughs> okay, when are you going to give me the benefit of the doubt? When are you going to stop listening to these rumors? Okay, that's here. Aquarius energy. You got lightning. Mm. Lightning. Something is happening quick, fast, in a hurry. Okay. Mm. You may have rushed into a relationship that turned out to be disastrous. You may have even hastily gotten married. Okay, you didn't really think things through, Aquarius. You just thought that was the one. You thought you had found the one. You thought, okay, this is it. And you didn't really, you didn't really, really pray about it, or you didn't really, really get the confirmation, or the signs were pointing to you that this wasn't the best idea. But you didn't listen to your intuition on the situation pertaining to a relationship and you went with it anyway and it just turned out to be very disastrous or it's turning out to be not of the highest good for you this has turned out to be a shocking thing okay this has caused you to emotionally withdraw okay you thought this was the one you thought she was the one you thought he was the one it's also very likely that aquarius is recharging coming back healing from a from a breakup okay from a boy to a man there's an aquarius man that has evolved from a boy to a man point blank period okay a seasoned veteran mm -hmm. you may be coming back from a breakup you may be in the process of healing from a divorce you may just be recharging trying to rejuvenate your life it may not even be about a freaking relationship this could just be about you needing to refocus and realign and reconfigure some things in your own life Okay, this may have nothing to do with a relationship. Aquarius is just pulling themselves back from the gutters. Okay, they, they took themselves and they let themselves be led by their heart and their spirit. You know, they let themselves be, you know, they let themselves go. And, you know, they went for a situation that turned out not to be of their highest good. And it cost them dearly, emotionally, spiritually, financially, psychologically. It, it, it costs us Aquarius, okay? You may have a divorce or two under your belt. You may have a breakup or two or three under your belt, Aquarius, okay? But there's one particular breakup or a situation that was particularly hard on you or that is currently being very, very hard on you to recover from. Mm. You may have married the wrong person, point blank, period. It's here. Mm. You may have also suddenly found out that the one that you truly loved is married. They got married to somebody else, Aquarius. Or somebody suddenly realized that you got married to somebody else. They thought they had all the time in the world. But you married someone else, you're in another connection. Or that's here. That's It could happen. It's a possibility, honey. It's a possibility. Okay, somebody is going to lose out on you. And you're going to marry someone else. Or your great love is going to marry someone else. That's here, Aquarius. Mm. It's also very likely that love is going to strike you suddenly when you're not looking, when you're not expecting it, 
when you're healing, when you're working on yourself, when you're doing your purpose, love strikes. It's going to catch you off guard. You're going to want to marry this person. It's very likely you already met this person. But you were already in the connection. They were already in the connection. The timing wasn't right for this. It looks like the timing is, is right. Okay? But you may just be in the energies of healing and rejuvenating from a bad breakup or divorce. That doesn't mean that the timing is not right. It just needs more time. You just need a little bit more time here. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. Aquarius men. I feel like you're very sentimental. And sensitive to your partners, to your partners, to your to your lovers, to your wife. Okay, I feel like you're very sentimental and very emotionally tuned in to her. Okay, when she's hurt, it hurts you. Okay, or it did before you emotionally pull back from the situation. Okay, yes, I don't know the ins and outs of your relationship, but I know you cared about her, Aquarius man. You did at some point, Aquarius woman. You cared about this man at some point. You got the shock of your life when you found out that the man that you were seeing was married or he secretly married someone on you, Aquarius woman. That's here. You learned your lessons. Yeah, you learned your lessons or you're learning lessons at this time or you already learned the lesson. Listen to your intuition. Ask your guardian angels. Ask your spiritual team. Anytime you meet anyone. I know love is blind. It'll take over your mind. You think you found the one. Only thing you found was another lesson to learn. <laughs> you got a twin flame, Aquarius. You know, I speak about it for two years. You got, you got a higher level of commitment or a contract with a twin flame, honey. Everybody else that you're dating or married to are karmic partners. They're soulmates, okay? You're not with your twin flame at this time. You're not. You feel trapped or tested or you had felt trapped or tested in the situation. You wanted to stay in something out of loyalty, responsibility, but you were suffering emotionally at the same time. Mm. You suffered emotionally. Mm. Big time. You may, you yeah, yeah, Aquarius man, you may like to go to the bar because I see you at the bar. Okay. Teamwork. Aquarius always gets this card. <laughs> business career is always going to come up when it comes to the Aquas because they're always about their damn business here. Yes. They're always going to be about their business. You may be working harder now. You may be putting in extra hours, working overtime, working more. You may need to take some time off. Relax. We got love. <laughs> Aquarius. 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 Love is going to strike you suddenly and unexpectedly, and you don't see this thing coming. Or you know. Okay, here. Okay, I'm hearing no. So this is what the angels are saying. Take the reading how it resonates, okay? Love did strike you suddenly. Caught you off guard. You was not prepared, but you were already in a connection. They were already in a connection. The thing didn't come together, but that was your true love. You're disappointed and sad at this time because you're not with them or you haven't been. Or they're disappointed and sad because they're not with you or they haven't been. The truth of the matter is both of you guys may have been in other connections. You may have been. They, have, they may have been, okay? But that was true love. You wasn't expecting to meet that person that particular day, your twin flame. You wasn't expecting to meet her. You wasn't expecting to meet him because you were already entangled in the marriage. You already was in a commitment. They were already in a commitment or they lied or you lied about a commitment. The truth of the matter is, <laughs> ever since the day you met your true love, every other connection was destined to come to an end, okay? Karmic relationships, karmic situations, and karmic cycles, they all have an expiration date. There was an expiration date on a connection that you had, Aquarius. You may have stayed long past the expiration dates. You may have stayed in a situation with somebody just a little bit longer than what you should have, okay? But that's okay. You needed to learn more lessons. You may still be with a karmic partner, or you may still be in a situation that is not making you happy at this current time. It's just because that's the way it's supposed to go. Everything is going to play out the way it's supposed to play out. Okay? You got a twin flame. You have a higher level connection with a higher level soulmate. You are a higher level being. Okay? Aquarius, you're not an ordinary smegular regular. Okay? You're not. You stand apart. You stand out. You're extraordinary. Okay? You attracted this twin flame. 
because it was meant to happen because you guys already signed the dotted line lifetimes ago lifetimes ago okay you guys signed the dotted line lifetimes ago for you guys to meet each other this lifetime it was bound to happen it was bound for you to meet him in this lifetime it was bound okay it was meant for you to see her and meet her interact with her this lifetime but this connection this meeting could have happened suddenly when you were not expecting it but you know in the back of your mind and on the subconscious realm your higher self you was already kind of prepared you already knew the dates you already knew the time when you was going to meet this person here on earth okay it seemed like it just came out of the blue but it really did not it was already orchestrated but you were already in the connection so you couldn't be with them yes aquarius or they were or you both were or the time it just wasn't right i'm here to let you know that you know your twin flame could be sad today aquarius they got some disappointing news your twin flame could be going through a breakup or a separation or a divorce or they could be isolating themselves at home in a connection or they could be in a living situation that they're not happy in aquarius take the reading how it resonates mm. what else is going on with these beautiful aquas today mm. yeah you may have some co-workers gossiping about you and shit like that yeah be careful with that aquarius who you get close to at work okay who you let know personal information at work that's here because there's a backstabber and a betrayer that's connected to your work okay aquarius energy with the star you're like a one-of-a-kind lifetime type of person as well much like virgo aquarius sagittarius scorpio leo these are once in a lifetime i'm individuals and i'm hearing you're a once in a lifetime opportunity so you would be a great person to team up with for a project or to work with or to work for aquarius mm. I'm also hearing that the connection that you have with your twin flame or your soulmate or your true love is a once in a lifetime. This thing is, this is, this is what they write about when they write these love movies, man. Okay. This is what they write about. You and this twin flame. You guys having an awesome, you got an, yeah, you got an awesome connection here. Mm -hmm. It's always related to work when I do Aquarius readings. Okay. There's something about the work here. There's great potential. For something to grow related to your work, business, career, your future. Okay, Aquarius. That's going to always come up in your readings because that's how you are. You are a hardworking individual that's going to become wealthy or that is already wealthy or that has became wealthy or had that has attained, obtained wealth. Because they are steadily, Aquarians are steadily working towards their goals. Okay, they're steadily reaching and going higher and higher on their career path. You got some new potential colleagues that just got hired at the job. You may be training them. You may be training. You may be a trainee. You may be a manager, supervisor. You may be an entrepreneur. You work for yourself. You got some ideas that got some potential to make you a lot of damn money, Aquarius. You may be, oh, you may be like Howard Hughes. Go research Howard Hughes. He, he was a genius. He, I believe he created the first aircraft, Aquarius. But he had crazy OCD. So he had these crazy habits of washing his hands. He had some serious shit going on. I, I feel like the more creative geniuses we are, the more crazy we are, if that makes any sense. Okay? I feel like that's you. Okay? You got these creative genius ideas, but you may also self-isolate, self-drink, self-sabotage, leave things undone, go cold on people. Okay, Aquarius? That's part of being that creative genius. But you definitely got some ideas that has some potential to make you mega rich, mega successful, or mega wealthy. Or at the very least, they got you got some ideas that have some potential to make you comfortable, okay, a sustainable lifestyle for yourself and for your family, honey. Yes, you're meant to teach others the way. I'm telling you, I'm speaking to a supervisor, a manager. Somebody in upper management, somebody who's been with this company for a long time, somebody that's a skilled worker, laborer, okay, a skilled beautician, you're good at what you do. You're the best. You may have gotten a raise. You, you probably will be getting a raise, Aquarius. You're always on the rise. I'm hearing self-made. I'm picking up on Rick Ross. You know, Rick Ross, he's an aqua. He went from washing cars to owning the cars that he used to wash. That's Aquarius, okay? They're going to work their ass off till they get what they want. Until they get where they're going to. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
Mm. You may travel a lot. You may travel to clear your head, Aquarius, okay? You go on these drives just to clear your head, just to get some time to think, just, just to be by yourself. You may have a lot of people around you. You're always around people. They're always around you. They're always pulling on you. Sometimes you just like to drive and get away and be by yourself to think. That's here. Just to get some time to think. Aquarius needs some time to think. I picked up on a karmic cycle. Okay. You were in a marriage or relationship or a situation that was karmic. Okay. This was a karmic situation that came to an unfortunate end. It had an expiration date. You were meant to learn something from this person. They were meant to learn something from you. That's a karmic cycle, Aquarius. Okay. It's disappointing. It's hurtful. It's painful. But what did you learn? Okay. What did you learn? I'm pretty sure you learned a lot. Mm. You and this karmic, you guys knew each other in the past life. Okay, this karmic may have followed you here, Aquarius. Okay, you still had to settle a score here. There was some unfinished business between you and a karmic from a past life. Some negative cycles that had transpired in a past life here. Okay, so you had to come here and this karmic came here. You guys had to work through this. Sometimes you meet people <laughs> and... You think they're, you got such an amazing bond with them, but they're actually a karmic person that you got some business to take care of. You got some business to, business to take care of with this person in this lifetime here. Okay? That's why you always got to pray, ask God for discernment and guidance. I feel like God put this twin flame. You met this particular twin flame, this soulmate on a particular day for a particular purpose to give you hope. To give you hope. Because you was already isolated. You was already feeling alone. Long before this twin flame came, long before that soulmate came, you were feeling these energies of sadness and hopelessness. And alone, alone, you may have been alone in a connection with this karmic individual here. Whew. Mm, this person may have tested your, tested everything, Aquarius. They tested you, okay? This person tested the hell out of you. Mm-hmm. We got to clean it up. <laughs> I spoke about Howard Hughes. You may want to go research Howard Hughes. I believe he, once again, he invented the first aircraft. I believe Leonardo DiCaprio, he played a movie about Howard Hughes. Go research and go watch that movie. Excuse me, beautiful one, about Howard Hughes. Mm, it's definitely time to simplify some things, okay? Declutter your mind. Declutter your mind. Clean up your life, okay? Sweeping away negative situations. You may, you may have held on a little too long. To a relationship that was inevitably meant to come to an end. It was meant to come to an end, Aquarius. Okay? Point blank, period. It just simply was. You are a twin flame. You have a higher level connection with somebody here. You and this person are already in each other's energetic aura field. You're already on her wavelength, Aquarius. She's already on your wavelength. You already know who this twin is. You know who this special individual is. Beautiful one. Aquarius woman, man, you you statuesque. You like a brick house. You're very beautiful, Aquarius woman. You may have long blonde hair, long black hair, long red hair. Yes, you may have a lot of tattoos of stars on you, Aquarius woman. Aquarius male, you may you may have a lot of tattoos as well. You may have a lot of tattoos as well. Okay, Aquarius man is strategizing here. He's off by himself. He's thinking. He's self-reflecting. He's regenerating. He's rebuilding. He's strategizing here. Yes. He's not to be played with. Okay. He's not with the bullshit. Okay. Ugh. What else is going on? I feel like it took a long time for this aqua male to leave a marriage. It took a long time before this Aquarius woman closed out a cycle here. It took a long time. I'm hearing she's healing. There's an Aquarius woman that's healing. From a situation with a karmic, okay? Yes, a karmic husband, a karmic wife, okay? Take the reading how it resonates. Mm. This Aquarius man is super intense. Look, 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 look at this man, okay? I have three, <laughs> three Aquarius men, okay? Three different Aquarian, Aquarius men watching this reading here. All three energies come out. This could also represent Aquarius woman that has, you know... Husband, baby daddy, okay, they're all coming out of her energy. This could also this could also indicate that a Aquarius woman has this twin flame. Okay, he's strategizing. Okay, he's business oriented. Possibly, okay. Take the reading how it resonates. 
But I definitely see an Aquarius, three Aquarius males that's on the board. Three Aquarius, three Aqua males watching the reading right now that are strategizing, that have been through some karmic lessons, karmic cycles, possibly a marriage or two, bad breakup. Okay. Mm. Don't you budge, Aquarius man. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. She may be trying to, okay, you may be going through a legal separation or divorce. This soon to be ex wife of yours may be trying to call your bluff on some things, Aquarius male. You're being called to not take the bait and stand your ground, stand firm. You may have a good lawyer, <laughs> or you may need to get one. Aquarius male, okay. Mm. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. From a boy, from a boy to a man, from a girl to a woman here, okay? This Aquarius has evolved. They met their twin flame in this physical reality when they were supposed to meet them in this physical reality. The twin flame helped Aquarius see that true love, real true love, real authentic true love is still possible. Aquarius may have already thought they found the true love, only to discover after meeting their true love, their twin flame, their higher level soulmate, our level soulmate in this lifetime, they, they realized that they had not met their true love and that they actually officially did when they met their twin flame in this lifetime. Everything else kind of seemed to not, the relationship that they were in, it was, the time had really started to tick at that point. God put this beautiful angel right there at that specific time for Aquarius to see that there's still got hope. You still got hope. It's not over, Aquarius, okay? You, your twin flame was put into your particular life at a particular reason here on this earth at a particular time to let you know that it's still possible. It's still possible to find real love, although you thought you found it. How many times have we thought we found it only to realize that we was not or we did not, okay? Let's go ahead and close this thing out. You found a karmic <laughs> cycle, okay? Yes, your twin flame was put here at a very specific time. For a very specific purpose to show you that's why y'all met when you met okay just like this lightning bolt suddenly you met them but it was already preordained for you to meet her for you to meet him aquarius but you may have already been married here yes this person is your true wish fulfillment and you are theirs you and a karmic you and your husband you and your ex-husband you and your ex-wife okay you guys had to learn some lessons from each other which is why you married her which is why you married him, which is why you're in a relationship, okay? It was a karmic relationship. It seemed like it had a lot of potential, but slowly but surely, it started to die. <laughs> mm. there, was a lot of, there was a lot of things that were left unattended in this marriage or relationship. First of all, you guys stopped talking. You stopped communicating, okay? Aquarius may have turned cold. Aquarius may even try to fix it at one point, okay? At the end of the day... <laughs> Your true love had already been ordained in the heavenlies for you, okay? Continue to cultivate and work on your career, your business, your career obligations, Aquarius. It's hard. Breakups are hard, okay? Divorces are super devastating. Take take the time to heal. Heal your heart, honey, okay? Don't isolate yourself too long. Don't be afraid to reach out for help, okay? Aquarius, there's a powerful ancestor that is with you. Specifically, Aquarius, man, there's a male, possibly your daddy. Okay, grandfather, this ancestor is with you. Okay, his energy pretty much took over the reading before I even had a chance to really start the reading, Aquarius. Continue to be a strategizer, okay? Strategize, especially if you're going through a divorce. Break up. You got to stay two steps ahead, man. They want to take you for everything. Mm. You may be... Okay, they may be trying to make an offer. You may be trying to counter offer, okay? You may be trying to make an offer or a settlement. They may be saying, oh, we don't want that or we want more, Aquarius. Let your attorneys work that thing out, okay? Yeah, you may have felt desperate, hopeless, and God put this twin flame on that particular day to show you, hey, it's not over. It's not over. Um, Aquarius male, Aquarius male, keep your head up. Keep your head up, okay? It's all going to work out. It will work out in your favor. Let's go ahead and close the reading out. It's going to be okay. I'm hearing a brighter day. There's going to be a brighter day. Aquarius. Aquarius! There's going to be a brighter day, honey. Yes. 
Your twin flame feels you. They feel you. Even when you guys are apart, you literally feel each other. Your twin flame, they hear you crying, Aquarius. They feel your sadness. They know when you're hurting, okay? You know when they're hurting. They feel you. They literally feel you in that desperate energy. They literally hear you crying. They literally know your thoughts. Mm, I'm hearing he didn't know. You may have been completely unaware as to who you married, Aquarius. Okay, you may have been under a lot of illusions. Look at the twin flame energy closing out the reading. They want you to know they're supporting you right now. They feel you literally, literally. The twin flame energy is intense. It's powerful. Don't try to fight it. Why? Why fight something that's meant to be? Let it be. Let it be. You may be a shaman. Shamans work with the spirit of the soul. Okay, they heal illnesses. Okay, at the soul, they gain knowledge. Okay, the shamans get quiet. They astral project. They go get the information. They come back. They get the healing for the person that needs to be healed. You may be a shaman. You may have a great ancestor that's a shaman. Okay, you may be bad luck, turn and flee. Only good fortune come to me. This is my will, so it'll be. Bad luck, turn and flee. Only good fortune comes to me. This is my will, so it'll be. Aquarius, I love you.